scout. I guess we, uh, we've had worse seasons, but uh, would have liked to have been a little bit better. Only won one race with the modified and two with the speedster. They were all at Bridgeport, but pretty much just competed at Bridgeport all year. I didn't really go nowhere. Just went to Kutztown a few times from there and uh, kind of cut back on my schedule a lot to uh, do other things in life. And uh, so I didn't race quite that much this year. You know, like I said, won three races and uh, that was a little disappointing. Would have liked to win more races, you know, I mean, how I remember his time when I win four in one night, you know, and uh, to win three in a year, it's kind of tough, but uh, yeah, we just struggled a lot this year with our setups and stuff, and uh, we finally got it turned around towards the end of the year there, got going pretty good, so uh, then we finished up the year, not bad, not bad, at least we felt like we got a handle on handling and got the car going pretty good, our motors ran good all year, and uh, that wasn't a problem, but uh, just just our setups. And uh, me and Phil worked at it hard all year. I mean, we tried a lot of different stuff and, you know, just uh, was missing a certain ingredient there in, in the whole mix. And uh, once we figured that out and got it straight, we brought out a new car and another motor and uh, went pretty good the last couple of races. And then it was pretty much setting you on a fancy end of the year, wondering if I'm gonna race another year or not. And, wasn't sure what I was going to do there and uh, just decided, if, you know, maybe a couple of weeks ago there, we'll, we'll do another year or whatever. We'll see. You know, I mean, I hate to go out on a bad note, you know, I want to at least go out on a good note and uh, win some races and maybe another championship and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back next year. And uh, we got a new car coming from Bicknell. Uh, Bob's doing, freshening up our motors, Bob Renault, and uh, we should be pretty good motor-wise. So we got a good stock of specs, a big block, open. So, I mean, pretty much could go wherever we wanted if we do want to go anywhere, but haven't set a schedule out yet. Uh, going through the Speedster there, uh, Johnny's working on that and going through everything, getting that ready for next year, so. I'll probably run, you know, for Kevin again and uh, and Bob Hummer with the with the Speedster and uh, just haven't set schedules out where we're going to be or what we're going to do yet. Um, but uh, I got to, you know, yeah, thank the sponsors that have been with me this year, Pioneer Pole Buildings, Bob Green, and, you know, he's been with me 20-some years and uh, he's been a good sponsor and I look forward to working with him again. and. Bob Hummer with uh, Rodada Trucking. He's the guy that owns the Speedster. He helps us out with the modified and stuff, and uh, he's a he's a big help. Nick Conti, First Choice Auto Equipment, uh, does lifts and all kind of shop equipment. That's their business. And all these guys are they're more than sponsors. They're personal friends to me. And Donnie Bish, uh, Bish Sales, uh, Husqvarna down there in Bennington. Uh, you know, they helped us out a lot. They've been with us for the last, I guess, five years or so, all these sponsors. And uh, K&A Excavating, Kevin Bufoco, he's he's the owner of all my cars and stuff. And me and Kevin are like best of friends. We talk every day. And, uh, and uh, you know, I gotta give these guys a lot of credit. They're, they're the guys that keep Billy Pouch out there and, and racing, you know. And, um, my crew, Phil Cox, my, he's my crew chief and good friend. Uh, I've known Phil since we were little kids and he came on about four or five years ago here, started helping me and uh, made a big difference in our program. We think a lot, we have the same work ethics and uh, it works out real well. Um, Johnny Ryan Nearson, I got Jimmy Stryker down the road. He comes up, beats the bodies out, straightens them out and everything. Um, Washes the cars, that's big. Uh, and Phil McClellan, he uh, he's, he used to help me back in the 80s and he came back, he's been helping me with the tires and stuff. And uh, oh, Doug, Doug, uh, Doug Lapore, he, he comes when he can come and uh, and helps us out with a lot of stuff. I mean, Martin, he comes to the track and helps me and I got a couple of new guys there. They're, they're, they jumped in the end of the year too and uh, it's just immense amount of work all that goes into trying to keep a car on the track and sponsorship and and the work involved and stuff and uh if, if people really knew how hard you worked at this they wouldn't want no parts of it but uh 
it's something I've done so long. I'm just used to it. And uh, ah, we're looking, you know, we're trying to get pumped up, looking forward to next year. And uh, like I said, we got, that was pretty much a new car we finished the year out with and we're putting another one together so we can uh, have a good fleet of cars. And, uh, you know, all my sponsors hopefully are coming back and my crew and stuff. And uh, things are looking promising. You know, I think we got everything pretty much laid out for next year. And, uh, you know, could always use a little bit more shop help if anybody mechanicals out there that, you know, wants to come hang out with a race team and try to be part of it. Let me know or let me you know. Um, but we got these, uh, we do a lot of body parts and, 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 and uh, people always ask for doors and quarters and stuff. So we put these cars together for uh, the cell and uh, Mandy, Mike and, and uh, Billy, we all three of us have them right now. And uh, you know, they're available for Christmas or next year or whatever, birthdays or whatever. And uh, I guess Mandy's gonna go into doing them for other teams too now. And uh, you know, that's something new and neat. They're, they're, they're pretty cool, you know. Um, oh, like I said, I guess that's pretty much my season recap. And like I said, we're, we're gearing up, getting ready for next year. And, uh, you know, look forward to it. We had a good time last year. I, I guess the highlight of my year was the open house and all the people that showed up. And, uh, yeah, I got to see a lot of people I haven't seen in a while. And uh, that's always a lot of fun. And I know next year is our off year. And the following year we'll be back with it again. But, uh you know, maybe by then Mike and Mandy will be back living in the area. So uh, we look forward to that and, uh, you know, seeing all our fans at the racetrack. We always appreciate, you know, all our fan support and and uh, people buying our apparel and, uh, and coming to watch us race. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next year.